Hey guys, it's Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy here with your tarot reading for the month of August 2017. If you have a Gemini rising, sun, or moon sign, this reading is for you. If you don't know any of those, then I highly suggest that you get your free natal chart done online. My favorite place to go is cafeastrology.com. You will need to know your um, time of birth though in order to get your rising sign. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, you have, as your overall energy, the death card. Now, I have to laugh at this because I've been pulling the death card, like, consistently for the past week and a half. It's just change, 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 transformation, transformation, transformation. So, you know, listen, <laughs> we're all going through it right now, but obviously you are too, Gemini. Um, you know, as best as you can embrace the change because the death card is a major arcana. You don't really have a say in if this happens or not. You're just going to have to go with the flow. Um, but know that, you know, whatever is not for you is to be taken out. Um, and you are to be brought into a place of, of greater alignment, uh, with your true divine nature. So this is pretty powerful that this is going to be the energy for the month. But it also shouldn't be surprising given, you know, the powerful astrology, astrology that's happening. But let's get into the rest of your reading, okay? You have in your first house, which is the house of your sense of self and um, your identity and, and how you're showing up in the world, you actually have the Justice card. So another major arcana. And the Justice really speaks to you really being in a place of balance in how you... Uh, view yourself and how you think about yourself. Um, you know, Gemini can have that capacity to kind of like cycle between extremes. And, but the Justice card really speaks to you having found now that center point that reconciles the, the extremes into one. The Justice card for me really is the card of, or one of the cards of, of alchemy. Uh, Temperance card is the the other one, but this really speaks to that ability to to hold both or multiple options and to not be phased by them and to choose which to engage or activate in. And it's a really powerful place to be in because um, you know it puts you in a position of really being more of a creator incarnate. Um, it really being more of an influencer as opposed to being influenced by the outside world. So that's powerful for you. Now in your fourth house, which is the house having to deal with your actual home, um, your emotional uh, feelings, your family, um, also your um, subconscious mind or even past lives, you have the six of swords. So there's a couple of different interpretations for this in this placement for you because this could be a card of you actually moving out of your home like maybe something is going on there and you are just going to have to to shift out of the place that you're living um it could also be in an emotional context you finally getting to a place of calmer emotional waters um i find this funny though that you have this card because you know, you are going to emotional waters, but you're still carrying all these swords. So, you know, this is translating in terms of mental activity. You're coming from a place of maybe more um, being in a more scattered place emotion or mentally and coming to a place of more peace in your mind. And that translates into more peace in your emotional experience. Um, this could also be, you know, you walking away from conflict with a family member. You know, maybe there has been some um, some strife or some conflict with someone that you're close to. And this would, you know, this is going to be family. This is going to be close or maybe a really close friend or partner. And you are just really moving on like you are not going to fight or engage anymore. You're going your your objective is to have peace, um, not to be better than not to win, but to have peace, um, which is really what that justice card is speaking to. Um, no one gets to be the victor. No one gets to be the loser either. Um, it's all about uh, peace and harmony and divine neutrality. So that's nice if that's the case. 
Now, in your seventh house, you have the Magician card, which is another major arcana. Three major arcana so far. Um, and then, so the seventh house relates to, you know, all of your relationships, whether it's family, friends, uh, romantic partners, business partners. This is really saying, even though it's major arcana, which is, you know, universal force, but for me, this is, okay, you are creator, you decide how these are going to look you know you how you show up if you're going to show up as justice as a balanced even keeled person is going to have a massive effect on how your relationships manifest for you and so um also too having this energy here not only does it speak to the existing relationships that you have but if you are wanting to call something in, like maybe a new um, business partner, maybe a new romantic partner, uh, maybe you know a new set of, of friends, you're the one in control of that. So you have the power and you have literally all the tools of the universe at your disposal and you're encouraged to make use of them to really create the life that you wanna have. Now in your 10th house, which is the house related to your career and your purpose and also your reputation, you have the world card. So that is another major arcana card. So you have four major arcana. I think, um, who else had um, a bunch of major arcana? It might've been Cancer possibly. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of change happening for you. Not too much that you're really gonna have too much control over except maybe in this magician placement. But this is saying that you've you've come to a cycle of completion in your work life in your purpose life and now you're really having to assess what's next you know like you've gained all the lessons you've um, gained all the gifts and the tools you have all this um access now especially if you have the magician card because this means you have all the tools at your disposal at your disposal so you know you are sitting on top of the world you have accomplished a significant goal so where do you go from here since it's a world card too and this is at the top of your chart this may be speaking to you having a greater reach this may be speaking to you traveling um and and coming outside of your your comfort zone so be open to whatever that is because again this is also mirroring that six of swords in the fourth house which is again um talking about moving from one thing to another or literally travel so that may be the next step for you you may start traveling this month or start putting plans to travel so have fun with that you know you are an air sign so you do need to have that freedom you do need to have new experiences so be sure to give that to yourself in the center of your reading in the position of you know your soul's desires its gifts its creativity it's it's kind of um it's objective and drive for the month you have the two of pentacles so what i'm actually picking up from this is you actually want to change you've kind of been there done that got the t-shirt for it you're good you you've mastered it and you know and i do say this in all humility for you you are sitting and living in a place of mastery so now you're like okay what's next if you look at this card you have you know one tiny little ship down here and then a bigger ship on the other side you've already mastered the little ship now you want the big ship it's time to scale up. It's time to, to get things moving, shake things up a bit. Um, you can't be stagnant. And it doesn't look like you're going to have the option because you do have that, that death card here. There is change coming. So, um, you know, maybe because this is a disc, you're figuring out, you know, your financial situation or, you know, living or whatever the practical matters is that has to do with the disc element, the earth element. Maybe that's what has to be juggled so that you can kind of activate and um, go to that next level but whatever it is you are divinely supported divinely guided um, and like i said the universe is at your disposal so i'm really excited for you gemini what's going to happen what are you going to create for yourself it's up to you are you going to give yourself the life of your dreams or no I think you are, though. <laughs> so if you um, would like to have a personalized tarot, tarot reading with me um, or astrology, 
um, definitely reach out to me at innocentalchemy.com. I also do energy healing work and spiritual life coaching. So be sure to um, let me know what services you feel will be best for you. And if you have not already listened to the August astrology um, uh, forecast that I did, be sure to watch that. The link will be below, should be. Uh, check that out and see how um, you're going to be influenced by the stars for this month. It is a crazy month. We have um, two eclipses, Mercury retrograde, Uranus retrograde. It's a lot. So um, yeah, definitely watch that. All the blessings to you. I'm really excited for what's coming on the horizon. I don't know what it is, but I know it's big. And um, yeah, I'll see you next month. Okay. Love you so much. Bye.